Hey gang, so it came to my attention that um, none of you could hear me on my last therapy recap video. Um, sorry, I rebooted my computer, um, updated some things, and it just switched my OBS settings to not pick up my mic. Hopefully this time, you can hear me just fine. Everything looks green on my end. Dogs are playing, and it's my birthday. Take that for whatever you believe it should be. You know, <clears throat> I don't know anymore. So, I went to... Um, Monday is when I had my therapy appointment. And I also went to the doctor. Um, <clears throat> so, we'll start off with the doctor. Okay, so I had to go, my insurance company allows me to have some money coming out of my, um, to save some money on insurance if I go get a sort of blood work and checkup and stuff like that each year which is actually a pretty hefty and cool idea um <clears throat> so i went and did that i got blood work done on friday and um came back monday to do the checkup as i walked in he was like hey so everything is great except you're overweight and I'm like, what? I'm overweight? How dare you say that about a fat man? Like, that's supposed to make me feel better or something? I don't, I don't know. Um, that squeaky toy in the background. Oh my god. I love my dogs. Oh, Rocky's a good boy. Rocky is a good boy. But, you know, so I sat there and I was talking to him about, um, about how things were kind of going. And, I don't know, he, he was... He was like, so, um, are you having thoughts about hurting yourself? And I was like, not any more than normal. And he's like, well, you know, the normal type is supposed to be zero. And I'm like, well, that's not really happening. So, <laughs> um, talked about changing up some of my medication. I was like. Can you put me on something a little bit heavier than what you got me on? Some anti-anxiety medication, something. You know, because th this is getting rather awful. Yeah. Um, but he was like, "No, you're fine. You're on the the highest of what's there right now." So. There's not really much that, you know, we can really adapt and change to that would help you. Um, so we're kind of, I'm kind of at an impasse there. Um... And, you know, I'm just, wishing I could have more, you know, and it's sad to say that, you know, but the medication sometimes helps, sometimes it doesn't. I take it every single day, like every day. 
Um, and some days are better than others. Like, a lot better than others. And some days just... Hard. You know? But he pretty much decided to be like, you know, like... Oh... Um... You need to lose weight. You know, you want to you want to be alive in this in this world and, you know, blah blah blah. And I'm, I'm like, yeah, you know, you're right. You know, to some extent, you you are you are definitely right. But like a part of me is just like Do I Do I really So, following that, um, going into my therapy appointment, we really did talk a lot about um, I don't know, trying to find me a reason to live because <clears throat> it's really it's really difficult when you're um, at this I don't know I'm 40 years old man my my kids have a family I barely see them because you know, They've moved so far away from me, which was done on purpose. You know, I don't have a lot of friends. Friends I do have are good. Yeah. But. I spend most of my days just sitting here playing video games and watching anime. Which. According to my therapist, is also a reason for living. He said, "You know, it's it's okay if that's at this moment all you're living for." Yeah. So I've got. I'm trying to like take that. Um, I don't know, into some sort of, to heart, I guess. You know, there are some new video games coming out that I really want to play. My favorite video games getting kind of like a rehash and being brought out. we talked about how even if I was to just kind of like disappear yeah that um, people would still need me you know people would wish I was around and it's hard kind of grasping that because the majority of my life people have just used me for whatever purpose that they wanted and then kind of just gotten rid of me I 
I know that may seem really awful. Like, absolutely, like, maybe disrespectful even that I would have to deal with that. But it's, it's kind of true. I don't, I don't like having to deal with that. You know, all my, all my, my ex-wife, all my girlfriends, everybody's basically like what I can do for them. Yeah. Is what they want and they never want to return the favor. He just went wild. I guess he heard some people talking outside. And I guess on, on that note... I'll get back to whatever life I have.